Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to update all of you with my latest ACC settings. So I did a video on this like a year and a half ago. Uh, I was less experienced on the game, so to be honest, I've changed everything from top to bottom. Uh, my wheels different, pedals are different, settings in game are better, the game's been updated, but obviously the V1.8 patch has come out, so uh, yeah, I think it's time to update all of you with the newest settings and just give you a better idea of how to go about setting up the game to ultimately make you quicker and more consistent. That's what matters. So uh, I'll show you everything from SimCube to Heisingvelt settings to in-game settings to view settings. And yeah, in the comments, I'll try and help all of you out. If you have any specific questions for a certain wheel, I should be able to help you out with that as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So uh, let's start off with uh, SimCube. So I've got different settings for each game. I'll full screen it quickly. And for ACC, let's get into it. 480 degrees for the McLaren. So there's different rotations for every car. And that's obviously very important. But in terms of the settings, you can see right in front of you, that is it. So 100% overall strength in, in SimCube. And then I kind of manage the FFB amount in game. So I think for clipping that basically gets rid of that possibility stops clipping completely you get a more detailed force feedback which i think is obviously very important um and you can see there various other settings that you can tamper with and try and make better or suit your style better but for me this is the best i've found i mean i'm sure there's better settings out there but you know i yeah i put some time into it to, to try and find the best settings for acc on a SimiCube ultimate um, and this is the best I could find. So that is SimCube. Uh, in terms of Heisingvelt, my pedal set, I've got the, the ultimate pluses. Did have the sprints for a long time, but basically run the same settings. Um, so yeah, for the SimCube as well, I ran a Sport or a SimCube 2 Sport. I run the same settings from that to the ultimate. So, and it, it feels great. So uh, yeah, so Heisingvelt, I've got different settings for R Factor 2 iRacing ACC. This is my ACC settings. Um, I run 40 kg, so it's not that much. Um, I also take the spring out of the pedals as well. I think it, it's meant to mimic a pad traveling to the disc feeling when you brake. But for me, it just felt a little bit spongy and I, it's not really ideal. So I took that out and uh, for me, it's just more consistent. I'm straight to a stiff pedal it feels great so yeah 40 kg is not a lot but you've got abs and acc you've not got to really worry about locking up it's more get on the brake 100 as soon as possible and then kind of trail off if you need to depending on the car you're in so um yeah clutch is all linear brakes linear throttles linear i've got a little dead zone at the top and the bottom um of all of them but it's very simple stuff really nothing crazy so if we go into options, I'll show you my video settings. So I'm running a triple screen setup, uh, 32 inch, 165 hertz curved monitors. Um, and I've got different settings obviously for replays or VR and or just my general race settings for like eSports stuff. Uh, and this is my eSports stuff settings. So fairly low for maximum FPS. I usually get around 120 to 160 FPS, which is not great but it's not bad uh it's very stable as well i've got a 3070 uh graphics card so it's again not bad not great especially with the 40 series coming out now but i'm just going to scroll through these for you i might even make a folder where i leave all the files for these so you can access them very quickly i might do that so yeah check the description below check the description below uh if you want to go and get those files and i'll show you yeah i'll show you my replay settings as well just turn it all up you know for content purposes and stuff like that making cool videos um it's quite nice to have really some banging graphic settings so there you go and finally vr which yeah i got these settings fairly recently they're very good i've got the oculus rift the standard one so it's not the best vr headset but perfect for when i was like training for real life and stuff it was clear and i could actually see where i was going and it wasn't straining my eyes too much so yeah th these are decent settings as well um just scroll through these there you go i'll make sure i load up my race ones for the race this weekend uh let's go to audio 
very simple default settings pretty much apart from the fact it's on 5% not 100% <laughs> this, the game is just ridiculously loud when you turn it up it's crazy um, controls which is obviously uh, well it's probably the most important one um, I've got a little dead zone at the top of the throttle in game as well brake I've got a mini dead zone at the bottom uh, 32 gain SimCube Ultimate it's an absolute beast wheel so I have to run fairly low in game FFB to allow me to turn the wheel without knackering my arms out especially in endurance racing minimum force zero damper zero dynamic damping 100 road effects 50 so this was on zero for me um, until the V1.8 patch and then I struggled to fill the car as much after that patch so what I did initially is I turned it up to 100 then over time I, I realized that it's probably a bit overkill so I currently run it on 50 and I get a really nice feeling for the tires and the car underneath me and I, I can feel what's going on which is quite nice so 400 frequency 480 again for the McLaren uh, linear anti one brake gamma one and then the minimum gear shift demounting so you can basically spam down the gears as quick as possible um, very important for engine braking so yeah I've mapped my various buttons and stuff you can see here I mean it, this is completely personal preference but I, I suppose it's worth showing you mine um, I used to map the TC0 shortcut. Where is it? There it is, up here. But they got rid of that feature now. You know, if you, if you do that, uh, if you go TC0 on the exit of a corner, it bugs out the car and you end up being really slow. So, can't do that anymore. But that was the, the good old days. General, there you go. I mean, main things here, I think I just turned the replay quality up and the length to the maximum as well again for content creation stuff you know making videos and stuff is very handy uh assist so all on manual apart from auto clutch just to make it easier in pit stops i don't have to worry about feeding the clutch out correctly or anything like that it does it automatically which is great and it's one less thing to think about in a you know heat of the moment in the middle of a race pit stop which can be a nervy time uh into the hud so it's worth saying if you've got a triple screen setup when i first got these i had the huds on the edges so down the straights i was looking like that at my information which just to save you an error it ended up with me doing this looking at my hud and then i crashed into a car at paul ricard leaving the pit lane um which completely ended my race so from that moment onwards i moved everything inwards to the center screen and yeah, that, that's the best way to go about it. These are just to help you see other cars and stuff, these screens. You, you should not be reading information and stuff off these screens because it just can end very badly. Um, I should have really thought about that before that race, but you live and you learn. Um, so those are those settings. Uh, I will also show you my view settings, which a lot of people ask for as well. In the McLaren, of course, every car's different, but I tend to get every car I'm in looking in a similar way to what this looks like uh, so view settings so 4.2 obviously the standard is zero but if you look at that I think that's quite low so raise that up to 4.2 lateral you want to be in the center of the car obviously so zero distance was on zero but if I go to zero you can see it's extremely far forward and you know, I can't even see out my right hand window. So I brought that back to 14.8, I think that was. 14.2, I think it was 14.8. I can't remember. I'll check after the video, but you saw it at the start. Pitch, uh, just leave that on zero. The way I've, I suppose if your monitor's uh, angled or anything, you could play with that, but no need for me. Motion, turn all that to zero. So you basically, you've got a consistent visual representation of what the car's doing if you've got the the in-game driver's head moving about it's one more thing to factor into your driving so you just want as minimum flex and variability as, as possible really uh wheel and dash so a lot of people ask me why i have the wheel on and the hands uh, and the main reason really is it's an extra sense 
to drive with. So in sim racing, you're you're stripped of all the feeling or, or the the seat of the pants feeling of the car and what it's doing. So you need as much information as possible to make up for that. So for me, I've tried it as well. I've tried having it off, and I just prefer having it on. I can see what the car's doing. They, my monitors are good. They've got a one ms delay, you know, response time. So they're good, but there is still a slight delay. You can see it. And it's always good to know what the car is actually doing in the game. So I, I run that on. I know it looks a bit weird. If you look in the card above, you can actually see in my last video what my setup looks like in terms of the view. Um, and yeah, it does look a bit weird with the in-game driver hands and wheel on. It's not the most immersive thing. But for me, competing in esports and stuff, it's very important to have all the information I have uh, available to me. So mirrors... They're not great in this game because you can't really angle them very well. Uh, so those are my settings. I'd like to tweak it better because the mirrors don't really give me much information. The center dash one does, but yeah, the side mirrors, not really. Triple screen and widescreen settings are there. So I did measure my, my angles and my lengths and my, all these dimensions, but I had to lie to the game a little bit to get it looking uh, perfect. But yeah, I mean... My triples are very standard, really. So I suppose you could take my settings and see how they look on yours and just adjust them accordingly. Um, and those are my view settings. So, yeah, those are my current up-to-date ACC settings as of the end of 2022. Hope you enjoyed. Hope they are useful. Again, check the description below for a folder containing all the files for these settings. It makes it a bit easier for you. Um, give it a thumbs up. Sub to the channel, as always. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Cheers.